My name is Wissam Naum, and I'm a product of the American Dream. In 1986, my parents had a choice. Continue to struggle through the brutal Iran-Iraq war and persecution of Christians, or come face the great unknown here in America. Thankfully, they chose America, but it wasn't always easy. Growing up, my parents worked around the clock to put food on the table. So my sisters and I worked just as hard to make good on their sacrifices. I went on to college at Wayne State University and to study law at the University of Michigan. And after that, I wound up in Chicago to start my career as a finance lawyer, eager and excited to make my mark. But what I saw when I got there shocked me. I worked on mergers and acquisitions where layoffs, it seemed, were just a standard part of the equation. And seeing how the sausage was actually made really bothered me and pushed me to take a good look around. Sure, the economy was humming, but big banks were defrauding millions of their customers and CEOs were pulling in record bonuses while those same companies refused to give any of their workers meaningful raises. At the same time, politicians were rigging election maps and hiding shady emails from the public. I knew then that the basic building blocks of the American dream were under attack. Looking back at my childhood here in Sterling Heights, I remember a different dream. This is the house I grew up in, and over there, that's the porch where Mr. Williams, a World War II Navy pilot, used to teach me U.S. history every Sunday morning before my family went to church. This is the neighborhood where good old-fashioned street hockey taught a brown boy with a funny name what the U.S. motto, E Pluribus Unum, really meant. This is a neighborhood where kids learned democratic principles by voting on whether to play baseball or basketball while their parents made an honest living working honest jobs. Walking around Sterling Heights these days, you get the feeling that things now just aren't the way they used to be. I mean, take a look around you. Pharmaceutical companies are jacking up the prices of life-saving opioid overdose medicines. Foreign companies like Nestle are making billions of dollars off pure Michigan water that actually belongs to all of us. And you'll realize the American dream looks more like a rigged game of the haves versus the have-nots. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't sit well with me. It's time we stood up to political corruption in Lansing and corporate greed across Michigan. It's time we took back our government and built an economy for all of us. It's time we restored the American dream. I came home to give back to my hometown, my state, and my country that gave me and my family so much. And today, I'm honored to announce my campaign for state representative of the people of the 30th District of Michigan. Join me and restore the people. Thank you.